When I flew overboard, I didn't have a chance to throw up at the ship. But the waves carried me into a strange island. And there I was, laid in the sand. And I don't know if I was dead or unconscious. But until some tie-dye mouse cave mouses helped me out. What are they called again? Tie-dye cave mouses. Don't you mean tie-dye mouse cave? It's tie-dye ma- it's tie-dye cave mouses, butler. Oh, um, I thought it was, like, you know, another version of it. I'm sorry. But anyways, they came to help you? Yep, that's exactly right, butler. A hooba 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 ha! Aha! A hooba 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 ha! Aha! Ah! Nothing like a beautiful day to get ourselves some more mangoes. Yep. <laughs> and that chant just kills me every time. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh. Hey, Tide I Mickey. I say that we should help this poor woman out. I don't even know if she's still alive. Yeesh. Alrighty then, what do we have here? Hmm. Jeez, she smells like ocean! We better run, Tie-Dye Minnie. We better run! No, Tie-Dye Mickey, she's just a woman. I mean, look at her. She is so cute and all alone. Can we keep her? Tie-Dye Minnie, are you nuts? Do you know what happens to humans? We get captured and stuff. But she's so friendly. She's gonna hang us and maybe she'll be at our side. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Wait, say that again? I said, what if she's on our side? Hmm. Well, you said maybe she could be on our side, but I guess that'll totally work. So we're going to keep her? Of course we are. But do you really think that you should go get some mangoes while you're carrying her? Um, no. Well, I thought so. Well, go and get her some shade while I find some mangoes. Okay. Ah, <sighs> What a woman. I don't know if I should say that, but eh, it's all that matters. Conscious or dead. But did the waves actually carry you over? Yeah, and I almost died. Well, you're safe right here. Thanks. I do appreciate it. Now, what happened? How did the waves ca came you over? Well, I was on this pirate ship, and we were heading to the Bloom Island to, like, you know, get ourselves some treasure, and it's actually very hard to, like, you know, pull it out. Oh, well, don't worry, m madam. When we saw you at the sand, 
We thought that you were a bad monster. What are you talking about? You know those bad monsters that smell like ocean and they would just try like, you know, kidnap us and start hanging us by killing us of all death? You wouldn't be able to do that because you seem nice to me. I am nice and oh, <laughs> oh, oh my stomach. Oh, well, maybe it's because you're hungry, and my friend is absolutely giving you some mangoes. Oh, well, that's good. And what's your name, huh? The name's DLR. DLR? Oh, well, okay, DLR. I know that you're absolutely having this rough time of being in that pirate ship involved. And wait, what did you say when you were heading off to? To Bloom Island? Do you even know where that is? <laughs> yes, I do! It's right here! <gasps> I'm in the Bloom Island! Yep, that's right! And a treasure is buried here in this island? I never knew! So, how did you get to the Bloom Island? Well, to be honest, we were born here to, like, you know, have ourselves some mangoes and some fruit and live with our lives. And, well, we, we really were sick and tired of this island and we really wanted to get out of here. But... We didn't know how, because we wanted to see a real world. Oh, you mean a world that has grass and buildings and cars and people and so much stuff to see? Yes. That is what I wanted to see. Especially for my friend. Oh, well. Tie-dye mini, I found some mangoes. Where are you? I'm over here! And we can totally feed you. And, well, you can totally help us get off this island. Well, I would love to, but there's a... You know what I said, that there's a treasure here on this island. Oh, yes, yes, I know. And maybe I could totally help you out to actually find this treasure. <laughs> okay. I'm here and... Oh my, I never noticed that you totally got her alive. Well, I just splashed her with some water. That's why she absolutely was alive on that point. Ah, well, hello, madam. I'm Tie-Dye Mickey. What's yours? Just call me DLR Tie-Dye Mickey. Well, how did you actually get onto Bloom Island? It was just from a pirate ship. A pirate ship? Hmm. Maybe those are the ocean people that tried to kidnap us. Just like how the first pirates actually kidnapped us. So, how did you guys got freed? Well, sticks. Sticks? Yeah, we were tied by, tied by ropes, and we like threw a stick to the wall and hit the, um, the rope and boom, we were free. And did you fall anywhere? Not at all. There was a basket that we found and we just, like, rolled ourselves into it. Huh. Nice. Would you like a mango? Oh yeah, sure. Thank you. So, what brings you here on the Blue Milan? Well, she's looking for some treasure. Treasure? You mean the the bloom treasure? That the the treasure is like a legendary, which is true. What legend? Well, some pirates want to get the the bloom so that they can absolutely rule the earth and take over someone's world to be in fact. And the, the bloom power will be invincible, and they, and you won't be able to kill the, the pirate that is invincible. 
that's why they will absolutely remain rich forever. So, I guess that's what Snowy Penguin was talking about. Or that bad pirate that he was talking about. So, wait, bad pirate? Snowy Penguin? Are these two villains? Well, no. The bad pirate is bad. The snowy penguin is nice. Including my friends that are nice. And snowy penguin has kids, so that means they're nice as well. Oh, I see. Well, come on, DLR. Let's get you a place to stay. How about, uh, how about at our house, tie-dye mini? Oh, right. Yes, 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 of course. Come on and we'll get you nice and comfortable. Yeah, come along, DLR. Coming, you two.